Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the How to Minecraft Season 2. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm sorry right now everybody on Twitch who's like, Preston, why is this not on live stream? I'm sorry, it's a super busy Friday for me today and hopefully it is for you guys and you're out there having fun and whatnot. And I don't know how many of you guys or ladies are off of uh, school for summer. So actually I'm very curious to know who is out of school for summer and who is not. Make sure you guys comment it down below and comment what country you're from. So I can kind of get a better idea because I've been wanting to do some cool stuff for summer, but I've been waiting and since I haven't been in school for like, you know, four years, I'm not really sure when summer is for some of you guys and when it isn't. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually going to visit Mitch and Jerome in Florida in a few days with Rob. It's going to be really cool. We're going to film tons of stuff like IRL videos and vlogs. So expect to see those on the channel while I'm there. And we are going to visit Mitch and Jerome right now. We are going to be pulling a little bit of a prank. So I learned from my viewers on Twitter that they're actually living together right now, not just in real life, but on factions, sorry, factions, gosh dang it, or on how to Minecraft, Preston, daddy government, focus, focus, focus. They are living together on how to Minecraft. And if you guys remember from season one, I pulled a very funny prank. Okay, it wasn't super funny, but I basically like, instead of toilet papering somebody's house, I basically just covered his entire house in torches. Um, yeah, so his whole house was basically torched to death. And sorry, I'm, I'm trying to focus on how to find Mitch and Jerome's house and at the same time trying to commentate. I think we want to go straight on this cords, like this, and then we want to go... I think that, wait, I think this actually might be it right over here. I need to make a little bit of wood, but we are going to be building a giant torch right in front of their house, and then we're going to cover that torch and more torches, and it's going to be awesome, bro, ha, ha, ha. But yeah, like, seriously, and the first one, I was so upset because, like, I spent all this time, and I was, like, torching Mitch's house, and I was like, hee, hee. Mitch is going to be so upset because if you guys didn't know the running joke, for basically the last year and a half, every Battle Dome that we've ever filmed, and if you guys haven't seen Battle Dome, you should check it out. We just uploaded an episode a few days ago. It's a 5 versus 5 or 4 versus 4, sometimes even 6 versus 6 if we have enough players. And it's just a really cool, like, PvP minigame where you have 15 minutes to collect gear and then you fight. You have one life and you have an obsidian at your base and you make your own base. And if that obsidian is broken, you lose. And then if you all die, then your team loses. So there's two ways to win. And Mitch, every time at the very beginning, whether he was on my team or against me, would spawn me 64 torches. Every, oh no, he would spawn me not 64, sorry. My entire inventory would fill up with torches. And I was just like, Dad, come it, Mitch. Can you stop doing this? And he's like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. So yes, that means we have to get back at him for all these years. And I know there's a lot of other stuff on How to Minecraft that we gotta get doing, but listen, uh, everybody asked for a prank. I was like, yo, what do you guys want to see on Twitter? And if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, link down below in the description. They're all like, prank, 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 prank. And they were like, you should prank Mitch, more torches. And I was like, no, we can't do more torches. But what we can do is a pixel art torch. And seriously, what did they do to their base? And what is this? Is this even a, like, listen, I know my base is kind of sorry right now, but I'm sorry. What the heck is this? They built their base right next to a dungeon. Oh my, this is the pirate ship dungeon that Vic and I did, like, in the third episode. And I think, Newt, did Newt build his house next to this pirate ship, or is it another one? I cannot remember. Oh, wait, wait. So, like, where is their house? Is this their house right here? Or, <laughs> like, I don't know. Is, is this, like, what, what is this? Are we going up to, like, in their tree house? And I love how they just, like, basically sectioned off this area. And then, I don't know if they planted these jungle trees, because we're definitely not in a jungle biome. <laughs> we're in a forest biome, so I think they actually planted all these jungle trees and then made themselves like this weird jungle place. I, I, I'm not saying it's bad. It's actually really cool. I like it. <laughs> it's very cute. It's it's different. I rate I rate the effort highly. Oh, so here is a lot of their chests. Oh, oh wow. They have a custom sword with nightmares too on it. That is actually really cool. Obviously, guys, I'm not taking any of their stuff. I just want to know the best place to build their th this pixel art. I think. See, I can't decide if I want to build it, like, in the sky, kind of, like, right over here. Or maybe if we should build it, like, right down in their area. Like, I think on top of that tree might be the best area for us to build the torch. Because then it's, like, really out there, like, super in the open. And then they're just like, oh, gosh, dang it. And it's not a super big pixel art. It's actually pretty small. Oh, Rob's on. Hey, dude. See you in Florida in a few days. Because, like, right now it's, like, what, Friday, like, May 29th. So, Rob and I are flying basically, like, in two and a half days. I'm really looking forward to it because I'm, like, Rob and I are the only two people. Oh, sorry, and Vic. 
we have not seen Mitch's new house because he moved to Florida not too long ago. And we haven't even got to see it yet, man. And I've known Mitch for ages. It's like, Dad, govern, like, I'm one of your best friends, Mitch. Like, I want to come see your place. He's like, all right, come on, you big disgrace. And so, yeah, sorry, I had a rhyme right there. And it was a terrible rhyme. But nonetheless, <laughs> the rhymes must prevail. Now, we need to get all of this wood made. I think this is probably going to be more than enough. And then, let's see, we're going to need to get our wools. As you can see, we had, to get, we had to hunt down some sheep off camera to get some custom wools. There's, like, not a lot of sheep in our area, so it took me a little bit of time to find it. But here's what we're going to do. So it's going to be, let's see, is this, tree, is, is this tree in an even pattern or an even fashion? I think, actually, oh, no, wait, is it, like, oh, no, no, wait, yeah, it is, yeah, it is. You, yeah, I, I think it, like, 100%, I think this is actually in a very even pattern. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of referencing the torch design right now. I'm sorry. My my memory when it comes to building things is I'm gonna be straight honest with you guys. It's pretty freaking bad. Like I don't know if you guys are like master builders or whatnot and like really good at this, but I'm pretty freaking bad when it comes to memorizing builds. I know, I know. I'm freaking I'm terribly sorry. I just I just am. It's just who I am, Dad Gummit. You gotta love me for me. But I'm 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 just terrible. I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and admit it. But anyways, we gotta go. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight blocks up, so we're already two. So we need to go. Let's see how many. So we're two. So we're three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is the height. I mean, we might be a little bit off in the measurements, but I think like, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a torch, right? Like it's gonna be a giant, awesome torch. I and Mitch better dad gum log on and appreciate this. I really hope that Mitch finds this and not Jerome. Well, like I want Jerome to find this, obviously too. But I want Mitch to find it, because this is this is mainly for Mitch. This is for my main man, Mitchell. Alright? And, oh, I didn't think about it, but if I actually brought... If I had just brought some more wool, we could have actually built multiple torches in his house. And just have, like, a bunch of, like, random statues. He'd be like, I bet you have Mitch logged on. He'd be like, why is there, like, all these torches around the house? And instantaneously, you guys know he would blame me for it. Oh, no. 110% Mitch would blame me for it. But this is a really easy, cute, like, pixel art torch design if you guys wanted to build it yourself as well. So now we gotta, like, here's where it's gonna get a little bit difficult. So now we gotta, like, build out a little, like, builder's path so we can torch the whole thing. The whole thing has to get torched. Like, listen, every last inch of this torch is getting torched. I'm sorry, but, like, <laughs> it's happening, guys. It is freaking happening. Uh, and I definitely want to do it because I would like to be the prankster on How to Minecraft. As much as I love building, building stuff on How to Minecraft takes a lot of time. And you guys know, like, when you make, like, four videos a day, it's very time-consuming. It is the most fun thing in the world, and I would not trade it for anything on this planet. I love my job more than anything. I'm literally blessed with the most awesome subscribers and viewers I could ever ask for. I mean, seriously, I do not deserve you guys or the subscribers I have. So, uh, with that being said... It is very difficult sometimes to get all the content out in one day that you want to. Like, even right now, it's 8 p.m., and I've only got, like, two videos up, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I've only got two videos up. Everybody's going to hate me. And I'm, like, desperately trying to get the rest of the videos made. Uh, okay, can we, like, I don't think there's any way to do this without taking some fall damage. Yeah, <laughs> there was no way to get that. I think we can actually reach, oh, that's the nice thing about Cyborg is that since we have the jump boost, I'm pretty sure we can actually reach all these spots without even needing any kind of like little workers area. Heck, we might have actually, no, no, we couldn't reach all of the top over here. But let's just get, this thing needs to get nice and soaked into torches. Here we go. Oh, and then we should definitely leave like a sign and like a message behind. Like saying like, you could spawn 64 torches or something like really cute like that. Let's get this thing all torchified. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, you are completely torchified, my friend. I kind of want to see this thing from a distance because I think it's going to look beautiful. And, and I really hope that Mitch doesn't break this. Because this is really cool. Like, this is actually... No, I, I completely rate that. It's basically a giant torch statue. This is seriously cool. I wish I had more wool on me to kind of, like, place it there. But I'm definitely going to get some signs. Let's craft some real quick. And what should we say on it? See, that is the real challenge here. I'm not sure what I want to say on my signs for Mitch and Jerome. So here's where we got to get a little bit crafty and creative. What is something... That we can say that's kind of like teasing and taunting, but at the same time, like, kind of cool and, like, fresh and, and swagger. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to think of something here. Like, it's got to be, like, a connecting thing. So, let's get our little brackets. I love the brackets, like, the equal signs and whatnot. Like, hmm. Like, this is, this is, this, this is your new, gosh dang it, what, what were you going to say? Your new best friend? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is your, yeah, this is your new best friend. And, oh, this is going to be, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, this is your new best friend. Okay, his name, <laughs> his name is Torchy. Oh, no, come on, don't say, no. his name is Torchy. Love him. 
<laughs> I think no, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. This is your new best friend. His name is Torchy. Love him. I seriously, guys. Okay, if they break this. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to enemy. Right now, Mitch and Jerome are neutral. And as you guys know, allies are going to flip and flop. A lot of people have been thinking that I, for some reason, enemied um, Vicstar, which is not true. I just shot arrows down at them in the valley. Because, like, technically, Rob killed... Technically, it was, like, Rob and Lachlan that were teaming. And then it was me and Vic. And then La or Vic teamed with Rob to fight Mitch and Newt. So you guys can't say, like, it, allies are always going to flip. Remember, guys, there is, this is a no-salt series. We all love each other dearly, and we're all going to do, like, whatever we find that's the most fun and most entertaining for you guys. So try to keep that in mind. But Mitch and Jerome will seriously, I will have to kill them once each if they break down the torch. So let that be known, guys. Go to their channels. Comment it down below. Let them know that I mean business. And if they ever hurt Torchy. They will suffer the wrath of Preston. And listen, I will get Choco to help me. And that will be serious. Well, you do know what they say about Bacchus in the wild. They do love their trees. Better get that chopping to work with love as you're always. Wait, with love as always, your neighborhood slime, Petey Jr. Oh, did Pete leave? Uh, I think he left them some, like, cute little supply drops and stuff like that. Okay, they kind of need to get this place organized. I like what they've done with the place. It's cool. They section off this little cute place. And there's a bunch of jungle trees and stuff, but they need to get this a little bit more organized. Because right now, um, I, I, you know, it's, it's just kind of a little bit in distress. It's like a damsel, a uh, damsel in distress, which is basically a woman who's been captured by a villain. And it's, it's kind of in distress. As you can tell, it's, it's a little bit distressful. So let's actually get, like, a little bit of a further view away from the torchy. And then I want to make sure I don't... Let's see, where did I build up at? I built up over, I think, on the other side. But yeah, like, I don't want to leave you... I, ugh. I don't want to leave any, like, extra cobblestone on their base and make them have to do any extra work. That is just absolute rude sandstorm, and I refuse to be that. I wish this cyborg had one more jump boost. It's so frustrating, because it's like, it's like a horse that jumps, like, one and a half blocks. It's like, come on, dude, or, like, four and a half. It's like, can't you just jump the extra half? Like, it's not that hard. Well, let's see. Which side? Oh, we, oh th no, that's awesome. It literally is just Torchy. Torchy is just sitting there strong and handsomely. He don't give no fudge about anyone. Actually... Listen, this is totally okay. I'm just gonna borrow some sugar cane. Uh, this is good borrowing. This is, listen, it's something neighbors do, okay? Listen, I built Mitch and Jerome a beautiful torch pixel, you know, pixel art. I gave them a new best friend for free. The least they could do is let me borrow a few amount of sugar canes. Because I actually need to get a sugar cane going of my own. I don't have any sugar cane farm, and I keep finding myself, like, in dire need of sugar cane for potions, uh, bookshelves, and, like, anything like that. So, my god! They planted so much sugarcane! Holy shit, they built like a massive conga line of just like sugarcane, sugarcane. I want to make sure that we actually collected it all. I don't, I don't want to waste, waste any sugarcane. I'm, I'm not a fan of that wasting type life, you know what I'm saying? I think we did get everything, and I believe this is my boat, so I'm going to take it back because I don't want to waste my hunger. I've really, really got to make a better, more efficient wheat farm. We didn't even make a good wheat farm in the first season, so maybe that'll be the next episode. Honestly, right now, in terms of episodes, it's looking like this. Gear creation, making a wheat farm, a sugarcane farm, finishing my potion brewing and my alchemy because I really want to find a better way to get tons of levels. I know that weakness potions are the fastest way to raise your alchemy because I want to be like the first person on the server that can craft like haste to like really cool and awesome potions and stuff like that. And then the next thing we're probably looking at is some definite dungeon raids. And then obviously, I think I said house creation or like house prettying up because I know right now the house is not very pretty. Completely understand that. Oh, and then mob grinder. I remember we talked about that uh, briefly in the last episode because we don't really have a definite mob grinder at the moment. It's just kind of like, you know, there, there is not really any mob grinder. Oh, I think you get... Oh, you can actually steal the wheat from here. I don't know if this is illegal, but I do kind of need some extra wheat. I think Choco actually sits here and replaces it. Oh, so you can actually break it, but you can't collect it. <gasps> oh, no, you can't. Oh, this is awesome. This is like an infinite wheat farm. Actually, wait, no, I think that this gets replanted automatically by the server, and if it doesn't, I will message our developer back, and I will ask him very kindly if he can somehow replant this wheat. Um, I'm just temporarily borrowing it, okay? I promise. That's all I'm doing. And my goodness gracious, my herbalism is like... Nyom. Oh, that's what we gotta do. We gotta check MC top, and we gotta see who's at the top of the MC list. Did I please... <gasps> did I make it back up? No, I did not! Jerome is still ahead of me. Dang it. I'm not even in the top ten, guys. That's how you know that I've got to, like, start playing more on the server. And then I'm literally plumbing out right now. Like, this is just sad. Also, one thing we need to do in an episode is get a lot of new commands. A.K. make some money. I'm thinking that we can make, like, a cactus farm. 
But I don't know if Cactus Farm makes a lot of money. It's what I'm thinking about doing is a Blaze Farm. I think a Blaze Farm is really cool. We have one of those in our faction series, and it makes so much XP. Because you get 10 XP every time you kill a Blaze. And so they actually give like one of the highest XP's per mob kill. And I think it'd be pretty easy to do, especially since we found so many blaze spawners and that one live stream we did, it was like an hour long live stream. We found like probably five blaze spawners. And we could also sell, I think, the blaze rods for a lot of money. I don't know if blaze rods sell. Is so what I can do is I can actually go to my blaze rods that I have right here that I was gonna use for my strength potions. And I think I can do like just slash sell hand and I'll just sell one of them just to see how much we actually get from it and see if it's a viable way of income. Because I've actually been wanting to check, uh, check that out for a while. So let me actually just keep one of these. And let me do like slash sell hand and see if we can sell these. Oh, so they sell for $14 each. I th actually think in factions, they sell for like $28 each. So I think it's actually been nerfed. But 14 blaze rods. So let's say you've got looting three on. And no, actually you probably wouldn't make a lot of money from them. I think you'd probably actually have a better chance at making money from a cactus farm. I don't know. What do you guys think is the best way to make money right now in How to Minecraft? I will make a money farm, whatever it is, in a future episode coming up. But that is going to be it for today's pranking episode. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas for some simple, fun pranks that I can do and who I should prank next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome and safe day. And I will see you guys next time.